Of course, we also need to discuss the client program and then the set of downloadable uh, samples that uh, we have in our handout. Uh, this is the main uh, app, um, Java client program right here, which uh, you can see what it does. It, uh, uh, in its uh, main uh, uh, entry point into the application, the first step that happens is that we create the simulation scenario, right? So we use this constructor to construct the simulation scenario and constructor is this expecting the um, um, interface to a uh, an abstract factory and so we create new visitor shopper right so we have um, we have um, um, this visitor shopper factory which we create um, um, uh, right here as we create the new scenario so then this scenario class goes ahead and it calls um, it calls create visitors right so it says uh, uh, in the the main client calls a simulation scenario uh, create visitors and it specifies the number of visitors visitors that it wants to create of course this create visitors uh, a method right here inside simulation scenario uh, calls this perhaps one of these methods um, to uh, create the corresponding visitors and uh, so we will see this a little bit uh, later on uh, when we talk about the actual um, um, system live analysis um, of this um, of this example uh, but uh, the next thing to focus on uh, right now is just to see that there is also another set factory call uh, to uh, factory visitor emergency. So we create new factory visitor emergency. So this scenario takes a turn and perhaps wants to simulate the fire in the building or some other uh, types of type of emergency. So it creates this object and then says create visitors. And so here we have uh, emergency staff, like five, uh, five new visitors of obviously of type visitor emergency, which will be added to the scenario. And so the scenario continues into this new mode of operation. So this is a quick demonstration of like the actual code corresponding to to this type of design and so this is an actual interface okay so this is an interface uh, uh, factory visitor so of course in the diagram it looks like a box in the actual java code example uh, we have an interface declared um, as uh, i factory visitor and it declares declares two of these abstract methods uh, create visitor uh, which returns back a visitor uh, from this method and also create visitor method which takes a list of visitors uh, as a parameter and this will be using it will be using this uh, target collection reference to populate this list uh, with uh, new visitors so what else we have here as an example um, the concrete factory right here uh, factory visitor shopper for instance and the concrete factory implements of course the methods it promises this relationship is a promise that this uh, class will implement these um, uh, abstract methods uh, provided by the interface so here's the in implementation of both of these uh, methods uh, so here's create visitor so it basically creates visitor shopper because this is the concrete factory for the shoppers right so right here uh, visitor shopper this 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 class in our in our design is uh, 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 specifically is designed to create new shopper visitors so at this stage the factory concrete factory right here class factory visitor shopper uh, encapsulates um, it this is where um, it knows what exact type of visitor uh, should be created the simulation scenario which is the client of this interface and is trying to create visitors uh, really doesn't know what exact type of visitor this factory creates because it's hidden so well 
inside this generic factory method that by the time it returns back the simulation scenario is only using the 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 interface of the visitor uh, but it doesn't uh, know uh, which specific type of uh, class is created uh, in the specific factory and this is an example of the second uh, creational method that we have in our factory interface which is called create visitor the same the same name of method but of course it takes uh, the target collection uh, as a parameter and uh, populates this uh, populates uh, the visitor shopper with uh, uh, within this collection using the add method uh, type of um, operation to add the new uh, visitor uh, to this collection and this is the simulation scenario itself so also we have this uh, uh, simulation scenario part of our design and this is the class simulation scenario so this is the constructor of course uh, uh, I prefer to show constructors in class diagrams as new but uh, in programming language uh, the name of the constructor method matches the name of the class so this is our uh, factory visitor uh, right here and this is the visitors uh, it's actually using java array list uh, i used list interface right here but in the actual implementation it's using array list of visitors so when we say create visitors uh, right here uh, it's it's taking um, the counter parameter and uses the loop to uh, basically decrement the visitor count and as long as it's greater than zero it just keeps adding new visitors but right here uh, it entirely depends on what type of visitor was used um, to uh, I mean what type of um, uh, visitor factory was used and uses this factory to create the visitor so we already know that uh, this method will be called and we create specific visitor right here all right so in set factory is a pretty pretty straightforward uh, setter method that basically takes new factory and uh, sets uh, sets the new factory inside uh, uh, inside the, the simulation scenario and these methods are not implemented they're here only for demonstrations that we have scenario play pause and stop um, if that's the um, the part of the scenario functionality so when the user um, uh, sitting in front of the simulation screen uh, could have these types of um, uh, gadgets available to start uh, the scenario to pause the scenario and to stop the scenario the visitor class in this demo is here and it's just a, it's just a class uh, you know it's it's empty we don't display much uh, we really don't do anything within uh, within this uh, this demo uh, with our visitor so it's really empty so when we uh, use one of these deriving classes we just say that the visitor shopper uh, extends the visitor and of course this is java keyword that represents uh, inheritance and so this relationship right here is realized by java programming language using this keyword so this is the super class or base class and this is subclass uh, or derived class uh, in this uh, demonstration so all together um, this is our current uh, uh, current uh, demo and of course we need to discuss the whole client uh, program and understand how this all works when the system is live but let's first uh, talk about uh, uml sequence diagrams uh, so sequence diagrams are uh, the diagrams that allow us to visualize the dynamic creation of all of the uh, of all of the classes at runtime um, and uh, um, and uh, so we definitely need to switch over to the next level of analysis right here uh, to take a look at the sequence um, of uh, method calls and operations uh, at runtime using the sequence diagram.